This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson. Hello, I'm Jay Jackson. Welcome to Wine News Weekly. The war of wine between China and Australia is back in the hands of the World Trade Organization. For the second time in six months, Australia has appealed to the WTO over China's staggering tariffs of Aussie wines. China slapped the duties on the wine after claiming Australia was dumping wine into the country to kill China's growing wine industry. Some tariffs are as high as 200%. The WTO would get both sides back to the table to talk as China has ignored direct meetings with Ken. Barra. One English winemaker is taking sustainability to a whole new level, out with glass wine bottles, in with paper bottles. The company is called The English Wine, and their bottles are made from 94% recycled paper. Inside that paper bottle is a pouch that holds the wine, and that pouch is recyclable too. The bottle is actually called The Frugal Bottle. It's made by a company called Frugal Pack, which has plans to take it worldwide. And finally, Cosmopolitan Magazine has released its list of the top 13 black-owned wine brands, and there are a few surprises. Here's the top five. Coming in at number five, the Guilty Grapes Cabernet Sauvignon. At number four, the Pinot Noir from Theopolis. Number three, a rosé from the McBride Sisters. Number two, Eunice Cherie Gostein's Black Lives Matter Pinot Noir. And number one, the Pinot Grigio by Love Cork Screw. And that's going to do it for this episode of Wine News Weekly. If you're watching on YouTube, please visit our sponsors listed in the description section below. Thank you for watching and subscribing. I'm Jay Jackson. Cheers. This is Wine News Weekly with Jay Jackson.